Just want to let you guys know, I do stream on Twitch at Cosmic Fanta. Make sure to go over there and give me a follow. Appreciate you guys. Love you. Bye. All right, y'all. Look, I got to be honest. I got to keep it a buck 50. Activision is by far one of the most pettiest companies. All right. They, they, they are petty. All right. So for context, if you're not aware of the situation or you just so happen not to really full up with anything Call of Duty related, basically a group of guys or a group of modders essentially made a Modern Warfare mod, essentially. And if you know anything about the Call of Duty community and just like their history, you know, the older games are what people kind of ask for, like that old feel of you know classic call of duty and that's essentially what the mod kind of provided for you and this isn't the first time they've done this whenever somebody kind of like you know makes like a modded version of like an older game or something like that where they make like a modded maps and you know just kind of like bring like the newer stuff in yo i don't even think the h2m thing i don't even think it was out for that long the people who made it it probably was out for like a couple days or something like that and it got instantly like shut down but it's just so petty because here's the thing right because they're so worried about you know oh more people are going to play this than like their new call of duty game right well, if you would sit there and actually like, you know, make the games like how, you know, your player base would want you to make the games, you won't have to worry about people not playing your newest game that comes out. Instead of being hard headed and trying to shut down anything that seems like a remote kind of threat to your freaking game or your livelihood of your freaking game or whatever you want to call it. How about you go out your way, see what people are modding, right? See what they're modding and just implement that into your game. I don't, I don't understand how hard that is. It's a triple A freaking game. They have more, I mean, more than enough resources to actually like sit there and put some stuff that the people want you feel me i never understood that about activision i mean this is coming well you know what the thing about activision i'm not surprised because you know i i did play a whole bunch of destiny and there was a big time period where activision was over bungie so i can't say i'm that surprised but at the same time I'm, we're going to make it money right you know they want to make a whole bunch of money right but they want to be scummy about it like you freaking put on a sale new people were gonna buy it and then sat there and put out a cease and desist like that is so stupid it's like don't get me wrong they want to make money you know what i'm saying they want the new game to come out they want the new game to do well that's perfectly fine first of all it's already call of duty people are gonna buy the junk anyway right Pete? like off top people are just gonna buy it anyway just like you know just because of the simple fact that it's call of duty and there's not too many you know competitive you know shooters out there that's gonna like you know challenge them to actually like, make a good game i mean don't get me wrong you got x defiant that's out but i don't think x defiant is necessarily like in that caliber quite yet you know to really like contest with like a call of duty game maybe at one point battlefield was in that you know was in that realm but not so much nowadays but they have the player base they have the resources they have well more than enough money and what we're asking for well i can't really say we but you know but what people are asking for out of call of duty is just that classic you know feel and they just can't do it honestly bro it's like activision would rather make money in the scummiest way possible instead of making money that would actually like benefit them in the actual player base now the new one that's coming out on um, this i think it's october i think it is it does look promising so i'll definitely check that one out with the homies but i just feel bad for all the people who sat there got the game for the mod and they essentially spent all that money for essentially no reason yeah but besides that nonsense i'm currently working on leveling up my p90 i'm trying to get that one to level 200 now at first i did come into this game with the idea that i wanted to like get the camos on majority of the guns but i kind of sat there and <laughs> kind of like stopped playing the game like mid-cycle it was because i got bored with it or anything like that i think i just started like just playing other stuff like in between so it just didn't happen and i was also waiting for them to have like a solid like you know like the rank mode to actually be made but you know the homies that i would have played rank with don't necessarily play the game like that consistently anymore I mean, I think they'll be more open to playing it now, probably if I ask them, but Call of Duty's like right around the corner, so. And since I'm kind of not playing Destiny like that anymore, I mean, I'll probably eventually get back to it if there's something on it that I want to. Well, you know what? There is, a, I do have some unfinished business on there, so even though I made the video, I deleted it. I might actually end up back on it to, to finish some other, to finish a little series I forgot to do. I ain't gonna lie. But it's just like over like the past like couple of years, I've kind of like, when it came to FPS games, I've kind of like relaxed on trying to be like really good at them. I mean, to be completely honest, most FPS is like, you know, like your popular ones like COD and Halo. I think Halo takes a little bit more skill to be good at. You know, Call of Duty, the time to kill is so quick. I mean, it's not really much you can do about it. I mean, my grandma can hop on that game and get a kill on it. But really just like having that good, like just what I mean by like that competitive feel, I mean just having, you know, that, you know, that aim sense, that FPS, like, you know, mindset, you know, map control, map rotation, knowing where the enemy is on the map, the spawn rotations, like, you know, stuff like that. I've kind of like gotten real lax, especially when I was playing Destiny. 
not saying like destiny is the reason why i got lags. well i mean it's part of the reason i got lags. that I, I was playing pvp on that for so freaking long there was other stuff like overwatch i tried getting into it over oh i did not think there was gonna be somebody invisible right there for overwatch i tried giving it like a chance before and it's just like it's it's too hit or miss i mean you got it's hard for me to play overwatch with randoms bro because it's like a it's an objective based game mode right you got you got a lot of like objectives going on and like your team composition it's kind of like me playing smite by myself like you know smite you know it, it's heavily dependent on like your team composition and then of course you just got like the natural like you know just like the general like skill of like you know everybody on your team and everybody on the other team. I'm not saying like competitive like in the sense like oh i'm gonna be going to like grand events and i'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like competing or whatever i don't care that much but i do like you know if i'm gonna invest time on the game of course i want to be good at it like you know i know some people who be sitting there tell us i only play I, I can only play games for like you know like a couple hours a week or whatever you know now one thing i will say though people complain about the time to kill on x defiant being wicked fast yo it is way faster on modern warfare 3 i don't know what people are talking about bro I started playing that game. I used the SMG on there. First of all, I'm like mapping people from further away with SMGs on COD, right? And taking them out way faster with body shots on top of that. But to be fair though, I mean, both games do reward you like for hitting headshots, but it's more obvious on X Defiance since it has a slightly longer time. But I will say going into like the next COD, one of like the main things I want to be good at is just like the movement off top. There's, you know, Apex, you know, it has really good movement. Um, Destiny obviously has his own kind of like movement system it has, but I'm not taking it so serious to the point where like I can't have fun like, you know, it, it's a healthy balance, you know, it's just like a natural like, you know, I'm competing against myself to be better. You know? Other than that, though, I'm probably going to end the video right there. I do got a couple shorts and a kind of IRL series that I'm doing with my shorts and on TikTok. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, Activision, y'all are some god dang freaking crackheads, man. Y'all, that, that that's petty. Yeah, they, they was petty for what they did, bro.